I'll tell you what. Okay, so the Apple, the whole presentation was a lot like a couple years back when Game of Thrones tried to melt the ice to give you the premiere yeah. date. I mean, yeah, a lot of people are referencing that, and yeah. I think it's a very fair comparison. So, but Apple Plus dropped the trailer with a bunch of glimpses at the new series, something I didn't think we were going to get. I didn't know they even had footage for things yet. Well, I, it, it's twofold. So okay. we, we talked earlier this month about how – there were rumors that the system's just not ready. Right. Like, it wasn't even going to debut this year. They were way behind schedule. The showrunners are freaking out. The whole thing. Right. Uh, now, they have this presentation, conveniently timed a couple weeks before the Disney launch, uh, before Warner, Warner Media has shown their cards at all, mm -hmm. uh, right around the same time the Netflix is changing prices and all this stuff. So, they do this big launch. They do show us some glimpses of footage. They've okay. clearly shot... A few episodes of some of their bigger shows, and we got lots of pretty B-roll. What we didn't get was an actual trailer for any series. Okay. Nor did we really get a slate of films that they're going to debut in the first year. We got, like, a couple quick shots of, like, Octavia Spencer, Haley Steinfeld, Jennifer Aniston, yeah. Steve Carell, Reese Witherspoon, Jason Momoa in that blind show. They got some big names. Huge names. And, and they were all on stage. Epic. And, they, and they were all on stage. They all showed up in person to talk about their shows. But yeah, they Apple didn't... must have paid a pretty penny for that one. Yeah, they had a fucking Oprah ended the show. <laughs> Excuse my language. But, like, yeah, they ended the show with one more thing, and it was, oh, by the way, Oprah Winfrey. But by the way, the next time they interview, they introduce <laughs> Oprah anywhere, please, Cody, grab that sound bite of fucking Oprah. I mean, come on, <laughs> come on. Uh, but they, they uh, the fucking Oprah. They, <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, sorry about all the language. That's fellas. great, man. Uh, but yeah, so. I'm just a little disappointed that they didn't actually show a trailer for anything uh -huh. or give a release date for the app <laughs> yeah. or give a price point for the app or say what shows were going to be available on day one and what shows are going to be scheduled for spring 2020 and all that kind of thing. It felt like a big, a big presentation that is like, it's like they, it's, it's like if you were working in an office I was, and I, your boss I is, and your boss wait. is like, yeah. it's like, Josh, got to do this presentation on the numbers on Thursday. You're like, all right. We're gonna do it, and Monday comes around. You're like, Josh has that presentation coming. It's coming. Like, it's go. It's I got it. I'm gonna have this. I. Oh. That is my. Do you have a phone? Do you no, have a phone call? That is a front door. That's the front door of my building. Oh, well, answer it. I did. Okay. Because we buzz they, them in. We finally got the front door working again. Oh, good for you. It's okay. <sighs> so it's good. Sorry about that. Anyways, so you're freaking out. It's Monday, yeah. and you're like, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. What's going on? And so you finally you cobble it all together. You do the presentation, and they finish. You're like, that was really good. It was a really well done presentation. Where are the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys see those amazing pictures? I brought out Oprah. <laughs> it's fucking Oprah. It's fucking Oprah. But like, but what? What's her show? Is she doing anything? Do they have anything to announce? Because Apple is here's here. I think here's why people are freaking out. Because usually you get like. Here is the iPod 40. Precisely. They yeah. Apple from from a technical side, they jump the gun. They announce products maybe before they're ready mm -hmm. and they launch products maybe before they're fully ready. Yep. And they're known for kind of busting out of the gate with here's a product launch that you didn't expect and by the way it's ready really soon. Like oh you're going to have it this fall. Oh it's going to be all done, yeah. everything like that. And it just felt like on the this, this big TV launch, this big SVOD thing, it felt like it was missing a few key components for a product launch. I'll give you that. And I was just, I, I, with all the hype that they had built around it, I think that at the end of the day, they were just trying to beat the com competition of the punch, even though they weren't necessarily ready for a full announcement. I'm not going to call it Firefest. <laughs> I'm not. But it did have a bit of like a where when yeah right like too good to be true sort of like we brought we were showing you all of this all but we're not giving this. any details no speaking of which I did hear on the radio Firefest is now selling merch to help pay for their legal bills I did see that we should get Firefest shirts I don't want to support them though I know but if it goes to the people that I guess that like the, you know the local Bohemians that got. Uh, yeah, you know, like one woman that lost fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, but is it really going to go to them, That's or are they the, just that telling us? That, are they just telling us that? Yeah, so they can sell merch. See, that's a good question. I don't know.